Traffic, speed, and crashes are big time concerns along Randolph Street in Thomasville, and police want to get the numbers down and boost safety. Fox 8's Jordan Brown found out that means pushing for a lower speed limit. She's live to show us the area the Thomasville police chief wants to target. Yeah, guys, the speed limit change is going to be down this stretch of Randolph Road all the way down to Lambeth, which is about a half mile from where I'm standing. Now, Thomasville Police Chief Mark Katner asked City Council to approve the speed limit change after responding to 109 crashes over a three year period. And it's something homeowners in this area say they've witnessed. A couple days ago, uh, somebody went to turn on a red light and the other person ran the red light and they just bam. It's those kind of situations Brian Welch sees often living at the intersection of Liberty and Randolph Street in Thomasville. I've got a 14 year old son and you know he, he can't even go and ride his bike because of it. He says speeding vehicles, crashes and sometimes racing are the norm at this busy intersection. We also had new businesses that are being built and new residential areas that are being built. It's going to add to the congestion to that area. Uh, we foresee that we crashes will continue to increase, so we decided to lower the speed limit uh, for that area. The current speed limit on Randolph is 35 until you get to Cedar Lodge Road. Then it's 45. Then when you get to Lambeth, it goes up again to 55 miles per hour. Thomasville police want to extend the 35 mile per hour speed limit further down the road, starting the 45 miles per hour speed about halfway past Liberty Road, taking it up to 55 at Lambeth. I think it would be wonderful. I think it would help out uh, this area of the community a whole lot as far as uh, safety wise. At Randolph and Liberty, there have been 54 crashes over the last three years. Just down the road at Randolph and Cedar Lodge, there were 45 crashes in the same time period. Sometimes Brian's home becomes collateral damage. But we've also in this house have had somebody hop the uh, ditch and run into the side of it and took out the AC unit. Um, we've had, I've come out here one night and there was somebody in the ditch and they're trying to get winched out by a tow truck driver. Avoiding messes like that are the reason Brian and Thomasville police hope this proposal is passed. Now, the Thomasville police chief also asked the state for help in adjusting the speed limit. When that was denied, Thomasville City Council got involved. Now, they are expected to go over that proposal in their January 10th meeting. If it's approved, Thomasville police say you can expect to see more patrols in this area to enforce that new limit. In Thomasville, Jordan Brown, Fox 8 News.